parent, there's going to be a lot of tough conversations over the years, but talking to your kids about death may be the most challenging. So we invited Greg Baer, the author of When You Wonder, You're Learning, and the founder of Brown Mamas, Muffy Mendoza, to join our panel on the topic of loss today. And this is such a, a deep conversation, um, but it, it's something we all go through, whether it's the loss of a pet or a close family member or a friend, it happens. It's hard and it happens at unexpected moments. Just yeah. a few weeks ago, my younger daughter had already gone to bed. She comes downstairs and says, Daddy, I'm up there worrying. Can I talk to you about something? Mm -hmm. And I said, of course you can. I, I don't care if you're 50 years old. You can yeah, always talk always to me about to everything. Like, right. That was the most important thing to say in that moment. Right. And she said, I'm worrying about dying. <gasps> and it was that frozen oh. spine moment. Oh, heavy. And so I, I, I said, what is it that you're thinking about? Knowing that she had lost her grandfather just a few months before, knowing that her grandmother was currently in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I learned from her that she'd been watching some television shows and she had learned that the child actor that's in one of those shows some years ago had passed away. You mentioned Descendants. Yes, which, exactly. Because the, the, there's a Cameron new movie Boyce. out. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was the trigger for her. And she was, she was worried about dying. And so one, I just had to acknowledge that moment mm -hmm. and, and, and then talk plainly about it to say, look, Honey, I can't sugarcoat this. This is this is part of life. We've experienced this. Yeah. People do die. And it's something we can always talk about. Right. But right now you're safe. I'm safe. You and I aren't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And this is going to happen in life. And it just led to a conversation. But I didn't I didn't over talk about it, right? right. Like right. just enough to know, give her assurance, let her know that she's safe, but also let her know this is part of life. Yeah. And I think that the vulnerability of the approach to these conversations is the most important. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you just immediately tensed up. I mean, you showed your daughter at that exact moment that you are human as well. And that topic is not a comfortable one, but we need to dive in. Right. Do you think that that vulnerability, Muffy, is just the most important there? I mean, I feel like you can humanize death that way. Absolutely. I think the vulnerability is important, but I also think it's just important to acknowledge that emotions are our internal guidance system. Mm -hmm. They're literally telling us what we need to do to make ourselves feel whole, to make ourselves feel safe. Um, they're alerting us to any issues that we might be having or feeling. And so I think it's important that early on with your children, you teach them how to ride that emotional guidance system and how to utilize it as something to help them figure out what feelings they need to process. And so I think it was great, Greg, that you were able to guide her through that conversation because in other instances, she might have tensed up and not known what to do with those emotions. Right. But they have to be acknowledged. Yeah. yeah. I think these are, I mean, death is a conversation that even as adults we struggle with. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to help sometimes our, our own friends who might be going through a tough situation. So to help our kids navigate something so deep and profound as loss is hard. I, I know in our house it started with the loss of a, a fish. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of tears and a lot of emotion. But, you know, it could be something as little as that that, that we can use as a teaching tool almost, as, as harsh as that might seem. Right. And Heather, you mentioned the death of a fish. There's a very famous Mr. Rogers episode. Right. Precisely about the death of a goldfish. And he uses that moment to talk plainly about death, which is another, I think, important thing in this moment when we're talking with our kids about death. And that is to use plain language. Yeah. To use the word died or dying. Uh, and not to confuse kids with other language because it makes us feel a little bit better or we think it's going to help them. It's really important to talk plainly about it. And that's what Mr. Rogers did with us with that goldfish. Right. And it's what we need to do with our kids to talk plainly about it and make it normal. Absolutely. Right. And I just, how do you feel, both of you feel, about the preparation for these conversations? Because the first time that I had it with my daughter was the loss of my grandmother a couple years ago, who she was best friends with. So, of course, it was, I mean, I, I don't want to say bigger than a fish because I feel like the fish is the kid's whole world. So it's, right. it's the same conversation. But how do you prepare? Well, and Nora must have been pretty young at that age. Yeah, too, I right? mean, she was three, but it, I mean, yeah. it hit all of us hard. We were all a wreck. And I didn't feel like I could be the pillar that she needed me to be. So I wish, when hindsight, I wish that I could have gone back and prepared her. I think you're preparing your kids for these hard conversations at every moment of every day, anytime something hard comes up. Yeah. So I think we're preparing them just in our everyday, utilizing our emotions as a guidance system. Like, how are you doing that as an adult? Because half of preparation is really role modeling, remembering that your kids are gonna remember very little of what you say. They're gonna remember 
pretty much all of what you do. What you do becomes their actions in life. So it's really about figuring out whenever there's a hard situation, how am I processing that information? And then how am I showing up in my life to show my children that it is okay to process it, be vulnerable, and also to acknowledge those feelings. So I think it's happening every day. Yeah. It's okay, so true. right? It's, it's right. okay yeah. for yeah. them okay. to see the tears, to see the vulnerability. Right. It's okay. Don't, you human. don't need to be it's the rock. All human. Oh, really great. Right. Thank so you so much good. for an important conversation. Always.